the heck you doing? I am doing great and I hope you are too. It's going to be a little different video today. As you can see, I'm shooting this on my iPhone 6. Still got the fish tank behind me, but we're going to move around so I can show you how I use AstroPad and Luna Display. So let's go ahead and move over to the office. So here we are in my office studio, whatever I call it for that day. Got my MacBook all hooked up to my Thunderbolt display right there. iPad right behind me there. I'm going to go ahead and set up the Luna display with the iPad and run it separately on the iPad. And then I'm going to kick in with AstroPad and show you a slight difference in it and how that works. But as I say is in everything, I'm going to explore that further down the road. So we will see. Let's jump on in, guys. So let's jump over to uh, my Mac here and I'll start up Luna Display. And as that's getting ready, it's looking for my iPad. So let's go to the iPad. We'll start up Luna Display on there also. And we'll get those two talking to each other. And as you can see, they're signaling. It's over Wi-Fi. They're Doing a little communication there. The Mac has seen it. It's sending the signal back. And we have our screens on the Mac display and also the iPad. And also you can now see the Luna display settings have come up. And we'll just jump on over to those and do a quick review of those. As you can see, you have a few options as far as how you want to set up your display. You can have it to the left of your main monitor, your right, and you can do some customization. Let's go ahead and get out of there. You can also do non-retina and retina display, which we'll go into later on in the videos. So I've got my screen set up where I have my monitor through the iPad on the left hand side. I'm going to leave that for now and I'm going to move my cursor out over. As you can see it's moving over into my iPad. I'm going to go ahead and move in here and go on to Photoshop. Get that started up. And as you can see it's open here on this side here. I can go ahead and create a new either under file or uh, create a new right there. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let that get started up and just going to do a default screen for now. And so there we have my screen, but I would like to use it on the other screen here. So let's go ahead and drag it down. Dragged it down over to the iPad here. So let's give it a mark cursor over here on the iPad and as you can see if I go ahead and go here and select a brush I have that brush here grab my pencil it does have some delay as you can see as it's going from I'm working on Wi-Fi right now so as you can see there is some delay and there is no pressure sensitivity because right now I'm only using that Luna display but I can go ahead and work on it right on it and we're going to go out of this in a so I went ahead and opened up AstroPad or started AstroPad up on the iPad here as you can see my cursor is moving around and I still have the Luna display running on my I, my MacBook there. So let's go ahead over here, start up Photoshop once again. And as you can see, it's starting up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down into here. And get it situated. Now you're going to have some trouble with this hitting, but if you go ahead and hit the green plus sign or the green circle, you can see down here I have my little menu that pops up and down for my AstroPad settings. And we'll go into that 
later on, but I just want to show you that it is running quite good on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do a touch screen for create new. So we've got that. I dragged that over from the other screen too. It popped up there. And when you do mirror the displays, you'll get it all in the same thing here. But I'm going to go ahead and just click on create for now. So we got our new project going here. I'm just going to go ahead and do a new layer. Oops. A little too, you're a little too close there. So I'm going to move him up. I got a new layer. Get rid of him. Go ahead and select a brush. I got my brush. And now we have sensitivity and the pencil that we did not have before. It seems to be a little bit quicker in responsiveness too. As you can see, they're both working quite well. Let me go ahead and just do an eraser here. So I went ahead and I changed out the color of my brush. Still got my layer selected. So I just got just a sensitive touch now. I don't have to worry about sensitivity, pressure sensitivity, because now I got that back enabled on there. That's going through the iPad. What you probably haven't been seeing when I do color selection and stuff, that little box is actually showing up on my other screen, so I have to drag it over to be able to do my selection, which I can. And that'll go back away, and I got my selection. But if we go out of here, and we go back up to the custom settings, I'm going to go into custom, and I'm going to go into the arrangement and actually mirror my display. So now that both these screens We'll have the exact same details and everything. So I can come back to here, move that around, close out system preferences. Move my Photoshop app back to the main screen here. Now as I go into colors, I got my color picker here. Pick my colors. Still have my sensitivity. It is also on my large screen, but as you can see, it's been cropped down to the scale size of the iPad. Now you may have noticed a slightly different angle on the iPad here. And it's probably not the best because I've moved on to the couch. As you can see, the fish tank is over there. I'm on the couch now. I enabled a different layer here. So I can do my drawing, sketching, go down here, change the size of my brush. And also with AstroPad, I have the little pop-up menu that lets me do undo. Several undos if I want. Take it back, get rid of that little pop-up menu. And I'm back to doing my drawing again. And as you can see, the only drawback about doodling on your laptop would be to have a little furry guy come up here and want to sit with you. So I can still get to my other screens. If I take the cursor to the edge, I still have that enabled. I could do a FaceTime if I wanted to. Get rid of that. I can go into any of my other programs. I got the Lightroom one. I can pull that up. I can work in Lightroom. And someone just enabled the side menu with their little nose. If I can see, go ahead. 
as you can see it pulled up Lightroom I got all my photos so I could work on my photos in Lightroom if I wanted to go up to the develop menu select a photo go ahead and play with the exposure go ahead and play with the highlights or contrast like I said I do like this combination but I am a little tied down right now with this little guy. He's been missing dad all day. I've been uh, out running errands and stuff. And then I started coming home and doing this uh, setup for you guys to show you what uh, is gonna work for you guys and everything. So I hope you enjoyed this little snippet. I'm gonna try to uh, give this little guy some more time and then back to uh, Luna Display and AstroPad and get some stuff ready for you next time. I hope you enjoyed it, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys. Have a good one.